We all know that Labor Day is basically one of the last cookouts of summer, at least one of the big family gatherings or, or you know, you have like the, the whole block party or that Labor right. Day weekend. So you want to have some good grub. And wear your white pants because you can't wear them after Labor nope. Day for sure. No you, more you, cookouts, you, no more white <laughs> pants. Done. Right there. And if you're going to do it, do it right with Omaha Steaks because there's honestly no, no better steak on my Weber grill that I've ever had than an Omaha Steak. And you can get it. The Deluxe <laughs> Grill Out Assortment, you can get it and you get 50% off if you mm-hmm. use our promo code at omahasteaks.com, Pat and JT. That's it. P-A-T-A-N-D-J-T. It can make any grill a supreme grill. I, you put Omaha Steaks on them. I mean, you, you can't lose, point. right? They have over... 30 entrees included. Some of the favorites, probably mine would be the bacon wrap filet. No doubt. Um, the all beef meatballs. No doubt. I know you go right to the desserts, or at least your kids do. Uh, my kids go to the desserts. I like, <laughs> their, their chicken breasts are fantastic and really legit. Their hot dogs are amazing. So you got over 30 entrees. You save over 50% and you're going to get 12 free burgers, which are basically a steak between buns. <laughs> I love that line. That's so great. <laughs> so go to omahasteaks.com and use the promo code PATANDJT, P-A-T-A-N-D-J-T on the deluxe grill out assortment and save 50%. Season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time always gonna be the best. Come on. Exclusively on the Herd App Media Network. Right. Uh, okay, so 402-403-9478 how you can get a hold of us you can also um comment on our facebook live which will happen on friday at nine o'clock which is you can do that as well which is tomorrow 24 more less than 24 hours yes less than 24 oh hours God. so nervous nelly and dan i'll be back too hey, i thought so, you're supposed to be at the face doctor today i know the dentist that got canceled this morning because um they had somebody who was out and so they had to move appointments around and so it's been rescheduled which i'm really mad about because um, you so, but at least you get a whistle a little bit longer when you talk right? around it's here. So it's, I have to be very intentional with I, my words. <laughs> I'm like, wait, all of a sudden it's popped in my head. Like you're not supposed to be here right now. I know. Yeah. I got a phone call this morning and they, they had a scheduling snafu, you know, needed to move some people around. So I'm rescheduled for Monday. Okay. But it's like, you just wanted to get, you hate dental stuff anyway. You just want to get it over with. Now you got to go through the yeah, whole weekend. I'm exhausted. I've been, I've been like, like. Worrying and fretting all week. <laughs> now it's like it's got to wait and a, a few bunch more of days. wasted fret. That and now sucks. I'm gonna got to fret again this weekend <laughs> for another appointment. Oh, so I'm, I'm recharging my fretter mm-hmm. and, away, and away we go. But what really bothers me is that the hardest part with this is because it's it's an upper bridge on the back, right? Is I can't chew on that side, so I have to chew on this other side, and that's not the side that I normally chew on. So right? You bit in your lip at all? And no, but this side hurts now. And so I got, it's like, I can't eat just anything because my, that side of my jaw is like, I'm out. So, like, we're done. Oh, just what an things. absolute disaster. <laughs> and so I'm trying to think of what's something I can eat that's soft. <laughs> that's not a lot. Like, steak is out. Okay. Oh, steak, steak is totally steak out. Steak is totally out. Ground beef, is that out? Mm, it, it gets, well, see, no, but there's other reasons. Okay. I, mean, I sound like a total whiner okay. if I get into it, but. That's kind of out. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what to eat. So I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to tell. I mean, spaghetti sauce? Spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti sauce. <laughs> I can't say anything of, of loose there's, stuff. There's nothing. that That's the weird part when you're trying to and, and attempting to like eat low carb, right? There's not a lot of stuff that's not chewy. It's like, it's like. Yeah. Spaghetti, pasta, that's a no. What about cheese? Is that too um, dense for you? Mm, yeah. Because I like harder cheeses. I don't like, you know. Of course. I, I, well, I like Velveeta, but that's not, I can't. That's, that's not, not on my diet. I don't think that's on keto. That's on Squirting Velveeta into your mouth is not keto. I, if it was, I'd be keto all day. Right? <laughs> all, all day. long. All day. And so, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, I guess, and I'm not real one for like sweet stuff. Like like I have a, a keto pancakes. Mm-hmm. But that just doesn't sound good to yeah. me. Eggs are fine. Well, you I, mean, just, I can eat, eat eggs. Out of some so eggs. I'll just eat some eggs for the next few days. <laughs> Great, you're gonna just stink. Oh, whatever. Long. Who smells like <laughs> eggs? I want oh, those. No, I won't uh, smell like that. Uh, that's that's like hard boiled eggs. Yeah, I just they always like smell like absolute ass eggs. when you get them out of the fridge when they're sitting there. <laughs> I found awful. a really good way to cook them that they don't seem to have as much smell. And I'd never done it before because I'd always, I'd always, when I made hard boiled eggs, I'd put the eggs in the water and then I turn it up to high and I'd set the timer mm-hmm. for 25 minutes. And by the time that was done, they'd reached up to a boil. They were done, put them under cold and I'm good. Well, the secret to peeling your eggs easily, mm-hmm. 
found this on a YouTube video, thank you. Um, but bring your water to a boil and then take your eggs out of the fridge and go right into the pan of oh, boiling water. You think so it crack the shell mm, going from cold to hot It like doesn't that. though. And you put them in there and then boil them and it's just for a few minutes and then go to cold water. They just right And they out don't of smell it. like a fart? And they don't. That's good. And they, they peel so easy. I That's mean, just like <laughs> done. So I know because when I used to have, I, it wasn't hard boiled egg, but when I used to make those egg things at the other office, You'd think oh that it just God. smelled like an absolute butthole in there. <laughs> and I always it, have to apologize. Like every time somebody would come in, like, listen, I'd show my cup that I had. Like, <laughs> this is what like I had. I did not fart. Crack an egg? Is uh, that it's one not, of them? In, it's not in, what I had. I had, uh, crack an egg's one of them, but that's where you have to provide the egg. I got the one with the egg. Is that the, not it's Jimmy Dean? It's yes, yeah. Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean got it because the egg came with it. In a little cup. And then you had the mix And it's good. Super good. Just but smelled you're right, like it a, smelled like a butthole. <laughs> um, so this is from 402-403-9478 from Courtney. It says, listening, let me turn it sideways. Okay. Uh, listening to yesterday's podcast and started screaming, zipper method, zipper method. <laughs> when you're talking about driving and how people need oh. to uh, refresher on the, how, how, you know, just driving in general. It, you know what? Something that's kind of unusual. I just noticed this recently, but then again, you know, prior to this, there wasn't a lot of jumping onto Dodge for the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. And even before that, there wasn't because we jump on Dodge and went straight to work, right? Well, at least I did. Anyway, um, is getting on the on ramps to Dodge Street is more more often you're seeing if there's just people in that left hand lane, right? There's two lanes that go to to jump onto the on ramp. Mm -hmm. So if you're turning say left off South 144th, there's two lanes waiting to turn left to get on the on ramp. Right. People coming from the south north, if there's nobody in that outside lane. Okay. They just roll oh, yeah, right they, in. Yeah, yeah. They don't yield like there's a yield sign there. They don't, they've stopped yielding. Yeah. <laughs> they just, 2021, we don't yield anymore, whatever. apparently. <laughs> they just like, don't give, give one mm, of those. Nope, you're, you're right, though. And, then, and right actually, though. she goes on to say, when the lane is ending, fill up both lanes, and then they go every other car like a zipper. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, on paper, that's what, and that's how it should work if everybody just did the system. Right. This will keep the speed normal, blah, blah, blah. But and she's, I used to box people out who waited until the last minute to merge. I know. Yes! Just, uh, just to be, just to, so, I know. You just hug the person's bumper you, in front of you, like, you know, screw you. No, you are out of line. But then on the <laughs> other hand, if you're that person trying to squeeze in, mm -mm. I get I wouldn't even try. I'll just turn right. I'll go into a neighborhood. I'm yeah. like, screw it. I'm done. Like you, you see, like you have like, like the, uh, what is it? 180th street, I think narrows or a couple of them. They're, they're two lanes and they narrow down. Yes. And so if I'm in that outside lane and I, I screwed up for whatever reason, I'm over there mm -hmm. and I'm seeing there's, they're not going to, I'm just going into the, I'm going to the shopping center. I'm, I'm oh, turning see, I, just, I just pull my way in. I, I just do that. I do exactly back. what we're bitching about. <laughs> I just push myself in. There was a, um, yesterday, when we were going to, we had a, a sweet stock meeting at Tom Hannafin Park. So we had to head, oh, I don't know yeah. if you headed east on the interstate or how you got down there. Oh, Did I you checked see? ways first mm -hmm. and there was this whole cluster. There's a bunch of construction on the interstate. Yeah. Uh, I-80, right? And I'd seen that the last couple of days coming down, you know, southbound on 680. And it was like backed up all the way back to Pacific because people are trying to merge on I-80 eastbound. And I, I thinking about that. So I checked ways. Yep, looks like a mess. So I went north. Oh, well, okay. So that 680 north. I think that that construction, I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. And it, it was only like five or six minutes delayed. Like it wasn't that much because That's of a that. a lot when it should have taken 12 seconds. Right. <laughs> but it, but after I got past that, it wasn't even like, I thought there was an accident. There was something. It's just idiots that don't know how to merge. That's what it was all about. Oh but then God. you get past that and there was a car. It was on a, about a 48 or whatever that is. 60th, yeah. 48th exit. There was a car in the middle lane where the wheel had come off, like, like I don't know what, come really? off. I don't know what that's called, but it like broke off. Not to, oh wow, yeah. And but the the person, the guy, it was a couple, and they were the guy was out, and it had just happened because there were I could I I saw the brake lights just starting to hit, and a oh semi slammed God. on his brake. The dude was out of his car, looking at it, standing in the one of the lanes. I could not believe it. Oh my God! And he was yelling at like I'm sure he's pissed. Oh, I'm sure. But he was yeah. not. Yeah, he was not happy. But he. They, I mean, he's lucky. He's Yeah, well, we assume. Very lucky. Well, yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen anything on Scanner, so he must have been okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Don't ever do that. <laughs> and you would think when something like that happens, well, then again, God, that would be terrible. I mean, what do you do? In the middle lane, what you, you could, do? It's not like you could push it off because the wheel was like cockeyed. Yeah. And you didn't want to get out of your lane probably because you would hit somebody else. Oh, my gosh. The, <laughs> oh, my the, God. And the interstate's obviously just terrifying, but when I ran out of gas <laughs> on the way back from Lincoln in that little white truck I used to drive... <laughs> 
it was, I, I remember sitting on, and this dude had to be experiencing that big time, I sitting on the shoulder and the trucks just, I, actually one of my videos was about that a long yes, time ago. When I, I did my that. Voice, and whoa, and the car trucks would go, the truck would shake. and I, ah! <laughs> That's when I had to call my mom to come pick me up. <laughs> that, so that, that dude, man, he. Yeah. But what, like, what do you do? I know. You, I mean, what do you do? You just middle pray. Lane, and you're in the middle lane. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, and hope we'll hope the cops show up real soon. Mm-hmm. Actually, that might have been. Was that yesterday? You said that mm-hmm. happened. Yep, yesterday, right on. I like it. Twenty minutes mm-hmm. to six last night. When I was coming, well, then this wouldn't have been the same dude because when I was driving back, I took the. Interstate. If it was, he needs to just He's check just- out for the day. <laughs> he needs to just give up. <laughs> but there was something along that stretch. Maybe it was hard. But anyway, the, the police were there and they were trying to get everybody over into one lane to get mm-hmm. around an accident. Yeah. So the whole interstate was trying to merge to the left to get around. And I saw the police as I was driving back last night and I thought, oh God. Uh, and all the cars that are coming up behind him. Uh, that no don't, idea. I know. You just want to like, dude, stop, go, <laughs> go back, go back. And they all wave. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Go the other way. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. It is. The interstate is just something else, man. It is. It's crazy town. I'm, I am, and I know I talked about this the other day, but I am more and more, I'm just like going through the residential neighborhoods. Just taking a chill. Yeah. Deep breath. It's a lot easier. Checking out the houses. Really pretty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> going in neighborhoods I've never been in. <laughs> That's like, the natural <laughs> transition of life. We get off the interstate. <laughs> I'm just going to get off the interstate. Yep. And then pretty soon you're going to be driving 35 on, on Q road. Street. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, I'll never do that. on a I Sunday never, and <laughs> your seat pushed all the way up. <laughs> I will never do oh, that. Oh, I don't know about that. I, that will not happen. Uh, I don't know. Because I, I already don't like that person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm, that won't happen. <laughs> but I will be the one, yeah, that will be taking dirt roads on Sunday drives. For sure. That won't be so That's, bad. <laughs> I can do that. Oh my God. So anywho, okay, so you need to get your tickets. There's still time. That's right. There and is. actually you can get tickets day of. You can walk up. I mean, it's you know, you know how big that venue is. Um I forget how pretty it is too. Oh my god. After going there gorgeous. yesterday, it's and obviously, like you said, it's obviously big. You forget yeah. how big it is, and you forget how really how beautiful it is. Um when, you know you, you drive back into the parking lot through the casino parking lot, yeah. you're like, well, there what is this? And all of a sudden it just opens up this big beautiful park. It's true. Cause if you when you go to like Stir Concert Cove, and when you drive up and you drive past Stir Cove, on the right hand side is where that parking lot is for the the venue, right? For Rivers Edge Park. But the thing is, is because of the things that have been going on the last year, meaning nothing has mm-hmm. been going on, the parking lot looks like something out of The Walking Dead right now because it's got grass and some weeds and little clumps and this and that because nobody's been parking there. Right. Nobody's been using the parking lot. And I'm not saying they haven't been keeping it up. They have, but there's just, it just looks like it's been deserted. And it has for the last year until they started getting things rolling again. And so when you pull through there, and you're right. You take that road, and it snakes around underneath the other roads, like, right? Am I going the that. right spot? You're going right along the river, and then all of a sudden, poof, it's so there pretty. it is. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, so super excited. And, and if you got your VIP tickets, just so you know, you have to go to the pavilion when you get up there. So if you want, if you want to try and park on that side, you can park in the garage up there as well. Um, and anybody can park in the garage, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anybody can park any in any of the places. But I'm just saying anybody that has a VIP, you have to go through the pavilion to, to get your armband. Um, and then, of course, they have the, the other entrance that's out there for general admission and yeah. everybody else. I mean, there's that other um, entrance on the venue on the west side, closer to the river. So... There's plenty yeah. of options. Yeah, plenty if, you, if you're not going to, if you're not going to decide, if you're not going to buy your tickets till Saturday, that's fine. Do it. Absolutely. But but if you want to save ten bucks, um, you can do. And On actually, top of it, yeah, because the ticket prices go up day of, and then so you know it, so if you go online today, you're going to save ten dollars on this cheaper price with our promo code Pat and JT. It's at sweetstock.com. That's what I was going. Yeah, look on sweetstock.com and they've got the the ticket thing right there and you can see how much the tickets are day of cuz I do yeah, they do go up the day of. Yeah, so you're gonna, you're going to you could save I a about lot. That. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so do that but either way, excited to see everybody. I heard from a few people today that have finally, you know, decided and they were like, "Okay, we can go." And I know a lot of people are waiting. Weather is still on people's minds cuz the last few days it's been popping. It looks like it's going to be fun. Supposedly gonna it's going to be say, fine until Sunday morning, like early Sunday morning. It's going to be hot, but with 94, but it's also August in Nebraska and Iowa. Yes, so exactly. it's going to be fine. It's not going to storm until um, Sunday. And we'll just Pat call that says, a Sunday morning cleansing. There's Pat. Unsubstantiated facts. Yep. From Pat. Um, <laughs> it's not going to rain till Sunday. That, I need to have my own podcast called Unsubstantiated. <laughs> 
I agree. That's, <laughs> that's the that's whole also thing. Otherwise known as Patent JT. Uh, right? Otherwise, that's our subtitle. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, go to uh, sweetstock.com and use our promo code Pat and JT to save that cash. And uh, thanks for listening. Production.